Hi, it's Maxine Kay in Yoga from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living, bringing you yet another love note. Finding ways to continue to be with you every day. If you choose to tune in, we will be here. With longer hair, oh, it's just, I could barely see you anymore. And very short nails because we don't go to the nail salon anymore. It's just natural, we've become natural women and men, haven't we? And that's kind of good, I like it. So as we move through all these changing times with the uncertainty and uh, with some intentionality to begin slowly to re-enter the world, we look at everything that is going on around us as well as everything that's going on within us and we find that there is so much focus on all of the changes taking place, on uh, experiences that we haven't ever had before. And we're finding ways to cope. We also find that there are so many wonderful demonstrations taking place, peaceful, peaceful marches. And in fact, Reverend Mike and I were we're wishing, oh, we so would have loved to have been and still would love to be walking with other people of like mind. It's, a, it's an exciting and, and deeply meaningful and heart opening and heart wrenching time. And it's a good time. I know there's so many different feelings going on and a lot of confusion. But look what's taking place all over our country, all over our world. People are becoming more conscious of what we can do to make a difference, not only with this pandemic that has been taking place, but with years and years, hundreds of years of injustice, inequality. And uh, we're ready to make a difference. We are making a difference. How much? It would mean to us to be able to walk, but it's not the right time in our minds. We're grateful that there are people who are willing to do this, but it's not in our minds here, Reverend Mike and I, um, appropriate for us to be so closely gathered with other people. But you know, the, uh, the challenge here is we want to be very close to people. We want to be holding each other's hearts and hands. And it's not the right time right now for us to be out there with everybody else moving along. So we're, we're with everybody in our hearts. We're just cheering everybody along. We're so grateful that people are stepping up and stepping out and having their voices heard. As they say, silence is violence. And we must find ways to stop being silent about things that we have not been aware of in many cases and not been willing to take an active part in. So what does it mean to take an active part in, in the changes that must take place now? Well, for some people, it means getting out there with their signs and walking with, in solidarity toward a new goal, a new vision of, of a land that is free and filled with justice and mutual respect, compassion and love, and a willingness to work together to be different. For some, it means being on Zoom gatherings, perhaps, and, and finding ways to connect with each other and take classes and read books and find wonderful ways to understand what we need to understand that we may never have understood before. So that we can have beautiful, not just civil conversations, but heart opening, sometimes heart wrenching conversations in order to listen, 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 listen. Because we've been doing too much talking and not enough listening with our hearts to what people need to have us hear. We've been deaf in many ways and blind in many ways, and now we're awakening. We're able to see better. We're able to hear better because we're willing to hear with our hearts. So many of us do plenty of 
spiritual mind treatment, affirmative prayer, meditation, visioning. Oh, well, let us all together right now be visioning. Be visioning a world that we are ready to birth, to bring into being. And it's an exciting time. It's a wonderful time. Let's know what we're experiencing. Let's feel our feelings. And at the same time, oh, please let us keep our vision high. Let's begin to become aware of this wonderful world that we're ready to co-create. And we're not doing it alone, you know that. There are millions of light workers all over the world who are working together to bring heaven on earth. It's not heaven right now, it's been hell for too long. And now we are addressing what needs to be addressed. We're finding ways to, to not to combat the, the COVID-19 because I don't like the vision of fighting anything. I don't like uh, a war on drugs. I don't like fighting cancer. I like rising above the way it has been in order to create and recreate and co-create something brand new. So let's bring love to it because love underlies all of it. Love is the context in which all of these contents are being held. And when we recognize that, then we open our hearts to let them become recirculating fountains of love that touch and bless everybody, lift hearts everywhere. We can do beautiful work within our own homes. We can do wonderful, creative, intelligent activities. Right now, this one has some wonderful, creative, intelligent activities to do. Thank you, Yoga. We can do them right where we are right now. And please let's stay connected with one another. Let's open our consciousness to a new way of living. And we have the opportunity now to create this. Everything that has taken place over the last few months has led us into this point of power. It is a point of power where we're ready now to work together, to open our hearts and our minds to each other and to co-create a world that works for all, for all, not just for a few, not just for the privileged few, but for all. Because every single sentient being is a beloved, delightful, amazing expression of the living God. I see that, you see that. Let's continue to incorporate that now in our new vision of a beautiful world. Sometimes I think I've just left speaking and gone to preaching. So even though I have a license for that, I'd rather not. But I do want you to know that we have an opportunity we have never had before. And I'm quite thrilled with it and grateful for it. And I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for all of you who are walking along this path with us. It's a beautiful spiritual path. And it's ours to walk. So thank you for continuing to be with us. We are going to be with you again tomorrow. It will be Reverend Mike giving the love note then. And of course, we live stream on Sunday mornings at 1030 Eastern Daylight Time. And it's a beautiful opportunity to come together, not only for our, our Sunday celebration, but also Afterwards now, we have just begun, as of last Sunday, uh, we've just implemented uh, a new wonderful activity. And that is that when you are listening to the live stream, you will be given information about how at 11.30 to Zoom in with us and we'll have a live chat on the Zoom. And we'll have an ability to see each other. It'll be like, our hospitality time, our social hour, but you'll have to provide your own coffee because there won't be any. And we'll just bring our own and we'll get to share. We can talk about what the talk was. And by the way, this Sunday's talk is going to be, it isn't rocket science. We're going to get into some simplicity, some profound, powerful simplicity about our teaching. And we'll be able to talk about that afterwards and, and see what that meant to you or whatever else is on your mind or in your heart. You know, it'll just be a half hour or so. Maybe we'll extend it after a while. 
but it will be an opportunity at 11.30 on Zoom. So do check our website, cslphilly.org, and you can find the link to our, our live stream. You can find the link to our archived live stream Sunday mornings, as well as to those archived love notes that Reverend Mike and I love to share with you. And well, there's also a button that allows you to make contributions and there are ways and means to do that also it's easy we make it simple it isn't rocket science and so thank you for continuing to keep us alive and well so that the day will come when we can all gather again in person can you imagine that please let's continue to imagine that i love you i'm grateful for you and thanks for being with me today <laughs>